Now, at the end of the season, it's off again halfway around the world as Brazil says, welcome to the Formula One year's final and deciding Grand Prix in Sao Paulo. On the 4.3 km circuit, the very first corner, the legendary Senna S, plays a big early role in deciding race order, as here, total concentrations needed to hold the other cars at bay. Here, the front left wheel can also be easily locked up, as the change in load on the car is so great. Coming out of the three-turn combination, we need to put our foot down quickly and take good speed forward onto the Retta Oposta straight. Otherwise, going into the corner at the end of it, you become easy pickings for your rival. Despite lots of work having been done on the Autodromo Carlos Pache, it's still a bone-shaking track and has a fair few other perils too. Not the least of the changes for the drivers is going anti-clockwise. Plus, at the Ferradura and La Rancha, the ups and downs. In the infield, the car can all too easily slide offline. Through this section especially, there are again some good chicanes to overtake, while every mistake costs time and often places too. This is where duels rage as the crowds in the stand cheer on. A special experience, especially for the local heroes. Fast, tight, up and down. The infield demands maximum downforce, but the flat-out sections before and after the start-finish, minimal wing. With the car set up, the engineers thus really have their work cut out. Sao Paulo rates as one of the toughest tracks in the world. A thrilling end-of-season party is thus guaranteed.